get this from milk, brother. <laughs> and this is probably some of the best craft beer I've ever had. Damn straight. Uh, this is actually quite fun. So we were catching the dart for live bait and while the guys were catching dart I took a full metal jacket with a 12 volt tuna sucker and I threw a dart literally 30 meters it wasn't even three minutes and I'm on I saw it jump it's a black fan so uh, not a big fish probably a 50 kilo fish but uh, that's it eh? Put a live bait and you get a bite. We've been struggling the whole day uh, and the dart started coming in. So obviously these sharks come in and move and feed in the dart. So uh, this one took quite a bit of string. Got a saltist 8000 with a new, well it's a test rod, it's a Poseidon 15 foot test rod, a grinder rod that we're busy testing now. So. But a lacquer rod throws a good mile. Okay guys, absolute chaos. And the sun got us properly today. Um, this morning we saw a lot of fish off that point there. But none of them wanted to take bait. And now finally, Dean, you, lose, you get a bit despondent. We were fishing for this uh, dart or three spot pompano, as we know. And uh, trying to build live bait out, up for the dark. And there you have it. Dean quickly put one out while we were fishing. And it was absolute mayhem. Because everybody's rods were still out. And it just tangled into everything. Hit it! That's what you're talking about. Wait! Okay now. From the beginning. Hit it, boy. Now that was a good change for the day. Finally, some action again. And as you can notice, the cameraman, moi, had to fetch the fish as well, which became rather interesting on a couple of fish going forward. This blackfin got such a fright, he immediately spat the dart out. This dart is still 100% alive and jumping around. Very nice start and a quick release. Alright viewers, wasn't a big fish, around 50-60 kilos. Uh, I didn't fight too much, lucky I stopped it before it went over the back bank, but that back bank is quite shallow. So yeah, I'm happy, first fish in Fraser Island, first shark for me. So uh, it's about that time where the sharks are going to start to come more and more. So we're gonna rush off and put another bait, and uh, yeah, jump. But uh, <laughs> one lack of fun, fishing for for dart. I got this. Oh, there we go. I think it might be a small, could be a small GT. I don't know. I got two one hour circles, and I had a piece of pimpy. Pimpy Dean. Pimpy, which is a wallace that they find on the beach. And uh, oh, I'm going to cook something a little bit better now. Oh, there we go. Oh, GT. Nice, nice, golden. Golden GT. Okay, so this is a new species for me. It's a golden trevally. And uh, there's a 1 0. Busted tuna circle with a small piece of uh, sand muscle, yeah? Just gonna try and get the hook out. What a beautiful fish. Look at that golden band on that fish. Look here guys, it's like a grunter's lips. A rubber lip, lip, 
but it can come out like a grunters. It's not exactly the same as the other kingies we know. Okay, so this one's gonna go back. It's only in South Africa where we refer to them as kingies. Better known all over the world as trevally. In Australia, kingfish is actually a yellowtail. Okay guys, so there's a dart, dart specialist. Dorian the dart specialist, here we go. Beautiful. Some bait, some bait for your uh, blackfin, your mackerel, jews, all love it. We'll uh, catch a few more of them. So it's, uh, this has been caught on a pipi, put uh, a bit of, bit of chalk on first just to keep it there and then a pipi on top. They taste the pipi and then they come back with a 1-0 hook using my uh, power angler 10 foot with a 15 pound braid and 20 pound backing. You can't beat this scenery. There are a lot of beautiful areas in the world and this must really rate with one of the top. The bites didn't quite come on as we expected at night, and I was lucky enough to hook into a smaller shark. The smaller blackfins are very energetic and can be a very exciting fight, especially on braid, being so much more direct. This thing just burst off Aussie style. <laughs> Not sure what species of shark this is, but we'll look it up and. The pole is too big. Now, Jed says it's a front row VIP seats to the creation. And there we go. 